Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Shelby Wood, and I work for the City of Westminster in the Department of Economic Development. We're pleased to have with us here today a handful of representatives from Comcast, and they are here to share information with you today on their Comcast RISE program, give you a little information on it, qualifications, and how to apply. Before we get started, a couple webinar logistics. We are using the GoToWebinar platform. So if you're not familiar with that, um, know that unless you are a presenter, that each of you will automatically be entered into uh, listen-only mode. But we don't wanna discourage you from still asking questions throughout the webinar, posting um, comments, concerns. Um, so I wanna bring your attention to the right-hand side of your screen. There is a control box there, and there should be a drop-down for, I believe it says question slash chat. So feel free to drop those in as we go through. I will try to um, catch those as you guys are posting them and um, getting the questions and concerns and comments over to our panel as we're going through. And we should have some time set aside at the end um, to cover anything uh, that we don't get to during the webinar itself. One last thing that I wanna note is this webinar will be recorded. So after it wraps up, we'll post a copy of this as, as well as a copy of the presentation that uh, Comcast has today on the Westminster Economic Development website. So you guys can have that as a reference tool as well. That website, um, we'll send information out to all the attendees with it, but it's www.westminstereconomicdevelopment.org. So now I'm gonna kick it over to our Comcast team. Great. Thanks, thanks, Shelby, and um, hopefully everybody can hear me and we're good to go. Um, and just well, I'll, before we uh, introduce each of ourselves, I just uh, we are the we are uh, the go-to webinar platform is a little new for us. We use a couple of different other ones, so uh, bear with us if we do have a couple of technical bumps along the way. But hopefully uh, we we've, we've got it all smoothed out. Anyway, uh, my name is Andy Davis, Director of Government Affairs here at Comcast uh, here in the Mountain West region. Um, and um, I'll kind of be kicking it off, but I want to let each of my colleagues introduce themselves. Kyle, we'll hand it to you. Thanks, Andy, and, and thanks again, Shelby, for putting this together. Uh, my name is Kyle Biederwolf, External Affairs Manager for Comcast. Um, I actually sit in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but do work across the four corners, and very excited to chat with you all today about Comcast Rise. And Tina. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Tina Klein. I'm the Director of Marketing for Comcast Business here in Colorado. Uh, I, too, am also excited to be here and talk about the RISE program with all of you. Well, perfect. Um, and yeah, just want to give just a little bit of background. Yeah, the, and Kyle's going to talk more about the program. But before we even get started with that, I do want to thank Shelby and Stephanie and Ryan and the team at Westminster Economic Development uh, for their interest in the program and also just but knowing that the, the community had a kind of a hunger for this kind of program and we're just we're, we're excited to share this information. Uh, we first connected about this um, back at the Economic Development Council of Colorado conference last year where we shared a lot of information about the Comcast RISE program and Stephanie was one of the first ones to, to reach out to us to say yes, uh, the Westminster community would be interested in this and we need to find ways to share share the information. So. Really grateful for the opportunity and um, you know excited about this program and what it's able to do. So uh, we'll take it from here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'll be advancing the slides and I think Kyle's gonna kick us off. So we'll move to the first slide. Oh, and also we do have a couple of videos around, uh, through, the, through the program and so we'll need to be switching to those videos. So just bear with us as we make those switches, but I will pass it along to Kyle. Thanks, Andy. And before we jump into the Comcast RISE program, I think we wanted to take a step back and just really give a holistic view of uh, where this program came and the in inception of it. So in June 2020, after George Floyd was murdered, Comcast made a commitment to spend $100 million over three years to advance social justice and equality. Um, this includes a, a variety of different ways where we're investing these funds. Um, the first social justice and partnering with organizations that are, are working to eradicate injustice and equality. Um, employees were accelerating efforts in all areas of diversity, including advancement, hiring, and training. Uh, media awareness and education. We put our full weight of our company's media resources behind highlighting black voices. It's a, a very unique opportunity that Comcast has since we have so, all of these media resources. So we're highlighting these black voices and black stories, and this included uh, the inception of the Black Experience Channel. Um, digital equity, we're just deepening our company's longstanding commitments to addressing digital equity. Um, this includes the impact of communities of color. 
this, this will include our Internet Essentials program, our Lift Zones program, and the variety of different ways that we impact digital equity. That includes the small business opportunities where we really jump into Comcast Rise. You can go to the next one. So just recently, we, we through a lot of data that we've taken, small businesses, we know that small businesses have been dealing with the ongoing impacts of the pandemic, social unrest, and environmental issues. Um, because of that, we want to proactively help our small businesses um, because we that know that independent small businesses are the backbone of our communities. Um, and today, more than ever, these folks and these businesses really do need our help. And we know that we can't do this alone, but we're committed to playing a role in driving this change. And this is where the Comcast business or the Comcast Rise program really comes into play. Um, it's aiming, aiming to create a sustainable impact and give meaningful support to small businesses that are shaping our communities. As you'll see throughout this presentation, uh, we have a variety of different ways this Comcast Rise program can really impact your small business over the next couple of months. Um, and we also have a lot of testimonials of, of previous Comcast Rise winners to see how this, this program and being a recipient of this program really impacted their business. Um, we could go ahead and go to the next one, Mandy. I think we have a video next. Yeah, and we're going to you know, run this video here. And this is an, an ad. Uh, featuring the, the RISE program that's been running on, uh, running nationally. Um, and give us just a second here, it's going to pull up in a separate window. So far, so good? Okay. And bring this back to our presentation. And I think, can everybody see that again? Then Kyle, just to, and Tina real quick, can everybody see you see in the slides? Yep. Yes. Okay, great. And yeah, Kyle, thanks for that overview. Uh, just real quickly, I, you know, a lot of what's on the slide here uh, kind of covers it, but Again, the focus of the program really is on, on small businesses, and again, small businesses owned by, by people of color. But one of the things we're, we're proud to announce is that as of January 16th, which just you know, earlier this week, we expanded eligibility to include all women-owned small businesses. So you know, in this uh, round of the, of, of our, uh, the program, uh, an expansion on who's eligible. And then if you look at the, the four areas where we provide some support, it's in consulting. So this is really around advertising and marketing consulting. This is working with our effective, uh, the, the, the effective part of, effective is a, our advertising arm here within Comcast. Um, they work very specifically on advertising campaigns. Uh, so really specialized expertise there. Uh, but this is marketing research and creative teams to really help uh, grow your business and grow, through, through specialized marketing. Media, again, just getting, getting your ads out with a, a media campaign over a 90 day period. Creative production, so uh, really helping you build a TV, 30 second TV spot with some media strategy behind that. And then the last one is technology makeover. You know, making sure that you have the, the technology, the computers, the equipment that you need to, to run your business effectively. And then what we want to do now is kind of shift into, you know, Rise, the RISE program at work. So it's the program has been around now for a little, I think we're getting close to a year. And um, we've had quite a few recipients here in Colorado, over a hundred here in Colorado. Um, but one right now what we wanna do is feature a video from the Create Cooking School in Aurora. 
Uh, they were a recipient and their uh, this is some, some great testimonial from them about how the program impacted their business, particularly uh, in the wake of COVID. So give us just a second here as we pull up that video. All right. Well, welcome to a little Mondo Pasta. We're going to have a blast. I'm Diego. And I'm Erasmo. And we're the owners of Create Cooking School at the Stanley Marketplace. We're a recreational cooking school and a wine and cocktail bar. Our inspiration for starting Create Cooking School was to bring people together around the kitchen and the dining room table again, to learn new foods from around the world, to show them that uh, making a gourmet meal is in your hands. It was to show our culture or Latin American culture that we have a lot of awesome flavors. We like to show different cultures, different ingredients to complete awesome dishes. The beauty the Create Cooking School creates is actually our guests, they create it for themselves. We just show them how. During COVID-19, uh, we at Create Cooking School had to pivot quite a bit. It was pretty tough times. That makes us come out of our comfort zone with a new idea so how to continue our business. We switched to a completely online model. Our guests would come and do our curbside delivery for our food kits. They take their ingredients home and then they'd cook along with the chef in real time. So we were still able to do our cooking classes, albeit through the virtual world. Us being selected as a rice uh, winners, it, it was something amazing. The faster internet, the phone lines, the computer, everything that we were going through during the pandemic, receiving some more high-tech equipment for it really helped us get over the edge of COVID. It means the world to us to see that bigger businesses like Comcast are supporting small businesses uh, like our own, especially during such trying times. I would love to encourage any other business owner to, to apply and be part of the RISE program. It's something fantastic, and the help that they, they give us and they share with us is pretty awesome. We're super happy with it. Okay, are we back? Can we everybody see the slides? Yep. Uh, well, excellent. Um, <laughs> pictures of the, the cakes that they made at the end. I don't know. That's um, it, I haven't had lunch, so that is uh, it's, it make me hungry. Anyway, we're moving on here, we're going to pass it back to Kyle um, to talk a little bit about, to give us an example of um, these 30-second spots uh, that can be provided through some of this business support. So let's pass it to Kyle. Yeah, yeah. And, and before we move on, I, I really want to highlight that video of Create Cooking School because I think that they, they tell a great story of how the technology makeover really impacted their businesses due to COVID, but that is just one of so many stories that we have from businesses around the, in, the entire state of Colorado. Um, that we, We've had technology makeovers in, in almost all towns that we have service areas in, and all of these businesses are, are thriving because they have the technology. And like Andy mentioned earlier, the other hand of the, of the Comcast Rise program, other than the technology piece, is the media marketing and creative piece. So we, we covered the consultant, the consulting, we covered media, and then we're, we've, we've covered creative. So one of the pieces that, that our team can per, help you produce is a 30 second commercial. So sometimes this can be a little misleading. Um, so what we wanted to do was to give you an example of one of the Comcast Rise recipients, um, Konjo Ethiopian food, and show you all uh, what the 30 second spot that Comcast Rise and Effective if it created for this business. So go ahead, Andy. Okay. Konjo Ethiopian Food is Colorado's first fast casual Ethiopian restaurant, the only Ethiopian food on Denver's west side. We serve delicious food in a clean, friendly environment with warm hospitality driven by our culture. We offer healthy food, gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, dairy-free. Gluten-free injera every day. No need to call ahead. Try our Ethiopian-style breakfast burrito and weekend brunch. Come be served the same food our mother served us, cooked from the heart. Back to the slides. So, so I know 
I'm, yeah, so I know that I'm preaching to the choir here, but I, but what we've heard from a lot of the different effective Comcast Rise recipients is that when COVID hit, one of the first budgets to go was marketing, and one of the first budgets to go was advertising as, as businesses were trying attempting to keep their businesses open through COVID. And I think that this piece of, of the Comcast Rise program really gives back to these small businesses and gives them an opportunity to showcase the incredible work that they're doing. Um, what we'll do when we send out this deck is we'll include some of the websites for these 30 second spots, because on our Colorado Comcast Rise website, we have eight different examples of, of 30 second spots from across Colorado that, that you can use. And I think that if you, as we, when we send out this deck, as you read these recipient testimonials, it just really attests to the impact that this program has had on businesses across Colorado and, and really across the country. So I, I, I think I'm taking this one, Andy, too. So the application process. So recommended next steps for, for small businesses that are either on this call or, or watching this recommend or this recording of the video is to go to comcastrise.com and just do a little bit more research for yourself to see if, if this is something that's going to impact and benefit your company. Um, we have a lot of different videos and service offerings at the backslash about page on Comcast Rise. But I believe that the entire website is, is a great resource for businesses who are who are thinking or attempting to apply. So once as we've we've kind of talked about the four different product offerings that Comcast Rise can offer your business, I think the best next step would be to de determine which one of these that your business would like to apply for. Again, the technology makeover, marketing consulting, a media package or a creative commercial package. And you will have the opportunity to apply for more than one of these packages, but we would encourage you to, to kind of determine which one you think is the best for your business as you're applying. The next step after that is to, to go online and apply at comcastrise.com Comcast backslash apply. Um, the application, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes and really just wants to get to know you and your business and, and really kind of pull out from you how how's the best way that we can impact your small business. Um, and, and again, in your application, just make sure to share your story and how the Rise in program can benefit your business. And I think one other thing that we, we didn't mention earlier and, and really want to hit back on it again is that as of Sunday, this program is expanding to all women-owned small businesses. It doesn't matter if, if, if they are a, a person of color or not. And I think what, what caused the, the company to expand to all women-owned small businesses is that of all of the RISE recipients that we've had, we've seen that over 70% of these folks are women-owned small businesses. So for this round, we really just want to increase the amount of impact that we can make. So a, a call to action for you all is apply for this program, right? Look into it, see if it's right for you, but then also tell, tell your, your family members and tell other business organizations in the community that you know, because you, you really don't know how this, this uh, program can impact your business and others. So how the how the timing will look over the next couple of months. So we are accepting applications right now from any person of color or a woman owned small business. Um, the application, you have some time to work on it. So it's going to close on June 17th. Um, the review period is roughly about 30 days for our third party partners to go through all of the applications and, and choose the recipients. Um, and the awardees are announced at the end of July. Then we're going to pass it to Tina to talk about the post award process. All right, thank you. Um, yeah, so um, as Andy and Kyle mentioned, there are four services that that a recipient could be awarded. Um, after the applicant is is notified that they did win an award, you know, our goal is really to make it simple and easy for our recipients uh, to go through the process with us. So I'm going to just walk through each of the different services and just give a high level overview of, of what the process would look like. So if you are awarded media, our effective advertising team will set up a welcome call and talk through all the details with the recipient. Uh, the recipient would then provide their TV spot. The schedule would be built based on the audience that they are really trying to reach to get their message to. And then the spots would start running for 90 days. Um, following that 90 days, the recipient would then receive a post-campaign report during a few check-in calls that the effective team would have with that recipient. 
Um, for creative and production services, um, again, the effective team meets with the recipient to understand their brand or their business in order to really create the most effective 30 second spot that they can for, for their business. Um, the spot would then be shared with the recipient for their feedback and approval. And then once approved, it would start to air based on the recipient's media campaign. The third service is marketing, um, which is handled by a Comcast partner called Eureka. So similar to the other two, there would again be a welcome call where the recipient would be taken through the types of services um, that they would have access to, which essentially would be coaching, mentorship, and networking opportunities um, through a, a variety of different platforms. Um, and the idea is really just to give them some marketing ideas that would help grow and expand their business. And then lastly, through Comcast Business, the tech makeover recipients will be notified via email and there will be a welcome call again. Um, and then they would just sign an affidavit and then um, Comcast Business, we would go out and install their complimentary tech services for a one year period. Right so with that, Andy, I'm going to turn it back over to you and let you do a wrap up. Yeah, thanks, Tina, and thanks, Kyle. Um, again, uh, and again, thanks to Westminster Economic Development for for giving us the the opportunity to share this information. Yeah, just a, an incredible program. Like I said, we've got a hundred recipients in Colorado, over a hundred recipients in Colorado already. So seeing a, a lot of impact, and um, just really appreciate the chance to share the both the program and some stories uh, behind some of the recipients and what the what the support has meant for them. Um, so at this point, uh, Shelby, I think we'll take any questions if there are any and um, address those. But uh, and if not, we'll uh, we'll sign up. But uh, let us know what you got. Thanks, Andy. You know, I haven't seen any questions come over, so I feel like you guys are pros at what you're doing and you just answered everything that's available. Um, but for our people watching after, um, please know Andy's contact information listed here on the presentation. Um, again, we'll be posting a copy of this recording and this PowerPoint on the Westminster Economic Development website um, so that way you have Andy's contact information and can reach out with any additional questions you may have after you've had a chance to look at the application. Um, sometimes stuff comes up after the fact too. So um still don't see any questions or comments so a huge thank you to all of you for joining us today sharing this valuable resource with our business community um and thank you so much for your time thanks shelby thank you thank you